winners talking. It's a one and name quarter to twelve. Mm. Mm-hmm. Back in again. Winners talking podcast. It's Pound Sterling the Hustler. Big PS, big Dougie Doug, man yes. them in the room. Come on. Let's Good get day are. before we even get into anything else, we've got to take a moment. <laughs> yes, we've got to talk about manscaped. Yes. You know, a new relationship's been forged and I've got this I, I can do this one organically. I haven't got to act, I ain't got to pretend. Mm-hmm. Just like anything we bring to the table that's part of the thing. It, it's it's always better if it's something that you use and something that you're got understanding of and manscaped have come true now with the and they've sent over the packages. I gave all the man in their packages just mm-hmm. now. You see Doug's got his right there, so Yeah man. But I can say personally Shout out Manscaped. Sh- shout out Manscaped. You're not gonna get a better shaving experience, lads. Mm. If you're grooming, which you all should be, every man should be body grooming Trust in these, in these times. Yeah. My line, Douglas. Bro, straight. You know. should be norm. This is the brand you've got to be using. Now, I've been body, body grooming for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. Mm-hmm. Since the days of fucking Suckball Shelly Ann. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she used to give the slop to his top. <laughs> you know, like that. <laughs> But sometimes you know she'd have to be stopping at time. It's not you know time she'd have to. Nobody <laughs> said it. I've only said Shelly. I thought I thought man was thinking you know the mash with you. That girl, <laughs> yeah, that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But from the days of Sackball Shelly Ann, mm-hmm. you know, and she she kind of put me onto that because she used to be like you know you might see her at times just pulling some hair out of her teeth during and then yeah. you understand. So Sackball Shelly Ann was the champion sloppy top. And yeah, from then times I was grooming, but I've never used any piece of equipment better than this. I can speak be- I can speak for it more because I've had the opportunity to use it. And it was good timing as well mm-hmm. because I needed to replace it. I'm not going to say what brand I was using before because that's irrelevant, but I'm saying that Manscaped is by far... And I've heard about this. Listen, I've, I've levels. And I'm you see that one there? The Loon Mower 4.0. That's 4. the Loon Mower 4.0. Oh, you know. Game the changer. Numbers. And for you, man, as well. Now, fortunately for me, like... I'm blessed and highly favoured in that department. But if you're not, it's going to give you an extra half inch by the time you've just, at you least, know, finessed everything. At, at least, least. At least. Game's going to be, tick, it's going to be like a new day for you, and man. if man don't know that already, then you're, I don't know what you might Yeah, you might must be me. late. Mm-hmm. Man, they're running around like some 1980s porn stars out here. You know, you need to sort your yeah, shit yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Car for <laughs> me. Get your shit a bit patterned up. Yeah, for me, this is going to just keep, man, trimming up nice. Oh, come on. You get me? Listen, no cuts, no bruises. No, this no is nothing. what I'm saying, no, car. You understand? No it's nickels. Smooth. No, you know what I mean? No nicks. No nicks. No. Nothing's chatting to the Manscaped 4.0. You don't need to go get, grab it. The link is in the description. You can mm-hmm. get 20% discount. I like. Free shipping. Mm. Courtesy of the man name. Just use the code WINNERS. Mm. Come on. Understand. Winners. Easy work. Winners. Easy Winners. work. Mm-hmm. Not, not 10%. Code. Not ten percent, not fifteen percent, not fifteen percent, twenty percent. Real twenty percent. That make a difference, you know. Come on, bro. It makes a Listen, difference. The joke is, when I gave Nikos his one, what did you say, Nikos? You was about to copper, like Nikos was saying. Bro, yeah, I was I'm, about to. I was yeah. about to cop. Yeah. You'd heard about the manscape, the four point yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, you know what it is? Too many bad experiences with other dud ones. You get me? All oh, right, but, yeah. but it's because man's using the wrong equipment. The wrong equipment. Yeah, yeah, man like, can't, like, man's can't be using hair clippers. No, no, yeah, no, no, man no, no, no. Listen, all no, listen. No, listen. No. Man's no. been using all sorts. I'm gonna tell man, 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 come on. I'm gonna tell man the truth. I thought getting nicked was just a part of the game. No, no. 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 I, thought, I thought it was just part of the game. No, I know. No. A lot of people think you, you do. You go. You go through eighty percent of dealing with it then. No, 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 no. It's meant to be smooth. It's meant, it, it, don't need, it, it doesn't have to be that way, people. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't yeah, yeah, have to yeah, be yeah. that way. We're about to change the game the on The game's them. changed. Them Manscaped. The game's changed. Get involved. Winners. Winners is the code. Mm-hmm. 20% discount on free shipping. Come on. Get yourself Come right. Your girl will thank you. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. And you'll be thanking yourself. You'll be saying, Ra, I a lot, you know? More streamlined. Yeah. You see what I'm trying me. to say? More, trust me, gliding with a little bit of extra, restri- like less restriction. Come on. You less me? friction and less friction and that. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Gliding mm-hmm. nice. So get your little more. The girl will thank 4. you. 4.0. The will thank yeah. you. Links in the description. Winners. 20% off. Uh, I can man try be trying to get the, the thing done out there. Man got hair all over the place. and Listen. Come on, man. Let's label up the game. The game done changed. But anyway. Game done changed. We move. Out of that, into this, always honour to be in the room with the mm-hmm. man. Them. It's a blessing. Yeah. Big up all of the man them every time. Big yeah. up all the viewers every time, male yeah. and female. Happy to have you here with us again on another Sunday service. Mm-hmm. I know we said we was gonna go three weeks of thug motivation. 
the fuck motivation don't change. It's still the same thing here. But we're just going to move it along. The third chapter of that trilogy, you're going to get it soon. It's already recorded, so you're mm-hmm. nice. But right now, we're just sliding it along a little piece to do with some current stuff that's going on, you know, keeping it all up to date. Trust me. Doug's in his laughing because he's in his Arsenal tracksuit. We'll get to that. 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 We're not going there yet. He's a mad man. Yet. It's too um, early. You walked in with the tracksuit and said, don't talk football. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know that? Hey, Doug's doing that. You know that? You know like that meme where the bread up walks out in the glasses like, like with a vet, the one camera posted after yeah, he lost yeah, the battle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah. That one, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, like, oh, yeah, yeah. You know that one, yeah. <laughs> Doug's saying, like, I'm on it. Like, what? I'm wearing yeah, my tracksuit. Yeah. What? I'm on it. But, yeah, we're going to cover... I even Penny, I thought I was in a lean gang tee in that. Like, we're going to cover... <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna even Penny... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even penny it from We're going to cover a few current things and whatever while we're here today and, and talk on a little topic as well. Mm. But I just thought we'll, the, we've had a great couple of weeks with a with a motivational thing. Shout out my guy Palm just walked in. Palm, mm. what are you saying? Fresh trim and that. Jeez, fresh trim. Isn't it? Mm. I hope man didn't use the Manscaped 4.0 for the trim, you know. <laughs> 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 for that line up. Because he's looking sharp. Looking sharp, man. Oh, it's looking so we got the Rick Ross beard. Oh, we got, got the rosé yeah. beard and that. Mm-hmm. Big bad palms in the building. What are you saying? He just started, yeah? Just, yeah. yeah just, what are you saying? We just started. Yeah, we just started, blood. Your time is good. You're happy, that like, skinny beard teeth. You didn't miss that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but anyway, as I was saying now, so yeah cover a few things that are current um what we've we got going on right now that's coming up let's go sport first because you know the man them love sport masculine mm-hmm. shit mm-hmm. Packy, i lost on the weekend what are we saying is he, he, he is it time for him to hang it up or what yeah yeah i feel like it's time for him to hang it up yeah oh, rex. oh shit rex i've got the <laughs> representer what we said no, are you, you how you feeling you how you feeling how did you feel when he lost and to be honest i wasn't shocked like he should have retired time ago because he's still trying to fight at the elite yeah, level, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. And he's lucky he didn't fight my boy. He would have knocked him out. How did he, how was everyone in the house? Your mum and that, she all right? How they feel about it? No, nah, they didn't watch it. <laughs> they all right. So in a way, it's lost, it's not. So it's not, yeah, it's, 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 it's not as big a thing no more then? It's not that big, no. No, nah, okay. He's trying to be senator now, so. Man's going to be senator. He's nice, he ain't got a box again. I think he should just, yeah, hang up the gloves. Mm. You know what I mean? Before he starts taking more L's unnecessarily, because he's a legend of the game. Yeah. Who again? Um, Woodley. He's fighting Jake Ty- Paul. Who? What are we saying? Tyrone better guy and represent. That's all I'm saying. Bro. I'm saying Tyrone beats him. I what feel like he though? beats him. But then boxing, 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 boxing. Straight boxing. But the thing with Woodley here yeah, is that the last guy off his last few UFC fights, you kind of question. Like for Jake Paul, he's picked a, an opponent. He's that. Picked, he's picked, he's picked, it's well, it's it's, well picked. It's well picked because it's like, if he comes with heart, he Stop does it. something. Stop if it, he man. don't come with any heart and he's just ch- coming to pick up a check. No, he's got then to come in hard. He's got to come in hard. He heart. can't lose to Jake Paul. Yeah, no yeah. way. He can't lose to... He's, yeah. a, he's, a, he's a UFC champion. A man, man them, he, his pride alone should say to him, I'm not losing to this you. Don't yeah, get me yeah. wrong. Skills are skills. But it's not like Jake Paul's been boxing that long. long. He's allowed to just be banging up everyone. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand? The, like other brother, the other guy he beat, Ben Askren, that guy can't box to save his life. Woodley's got hands. He's supposed mm. to deal with that. Even though he's at a disadvantage with reach and all of that, he's supposed to yeah, deal with that. Yeah, because when I saw the, 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 the thing, I thought he was a lot bigger than what he was. Like, in, like, in, in Jake, height. Yeah, in height. Like, Jake's got height on him. I didn't, old, yeah, I look. didn't even know that Jake was that kind of... Yeah, Jake Paul's yeah, he's got, tall, got a little tall on him, isn't it? Yeah. He's got some height on him. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what's going on there. For he them. should take off his head still. So he should, though. Way. Palms like an idiot left the room when we're talking boxing. Same way. He's got to take off his head, man. A professional. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These times he's a boxer. Um, nah, he's got he's got to beat him. He's he's got to beat him. He's a professional in the thing. Mm-hmm. All right. As we're on the sports subject, let's talk some football. Let's just talk a little. We won't go too much on it. Mm-hmm. Season started. We're all glad for that. Everyone's happy. Season's back on. Yeah. Fans are Football's back. back. Fans are back. It's a blood. It's a big deal. Blood. I've been yeah. happy all weekend. Before we move, who Palms just come back in the room? Who's winning? Jake Paul or Woodley? Ooh. Woodley, if he, if he, if it goes the distance. Wow. If it goes decision, if it goes knockout, maybe Jake. So Ooh. you're saying Woodley can't knock out Jake? No, because I watched a few, like, when I watched the Usman fight, yeah, Woodley's not really like a, a knockout kind of guy, is he? He, like he's, he's he's like he has out. to go. He goes. Does he go the rounds? He's all American. He's an all American wrestler, isn't he? Yeah. Well, yeah. He's, so he's, he's, I know what you mean. So it's like. So he's he's not really. He's beating him up. I'm saying Woodley stops him. 
You think so? I'm saying Woodley stops. Maybe it. it's gonna be. I feel like I've said that brother ain't got the heart for man. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. The heart, it's the heart. Mm. The dog, he ain't got the dog. Who? Um, Jake. Jake, he ain't got the dog. Man. He's got a certain level, but he, he don't really know about being deep in the what in the trenches, the deep trenches. And yeah, like, yeah. None of the these fights have taken him. Really yeah. pull it out of there. You yeah, understand what I'm all saying? these fights so, have been wood, like money, money fights, not really yeah, fight yeah, fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think a lot of fighters now, like boxers and that, like celebrities and that, when they fight. Because they win a few fights, they think, yeah, nah, it's the easy fight work. Now, yeah. And when they get hit and they're in the deep end now, then they realise, like, it's, it's not hard really work, a joke. Yeah. Do you know what it's like when you're getting, mm. when it's hard you're, it's, it gets deep? Yeah, you're like, tired. Like, when you're getting hit, you're mm-hmm. tired. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, I always say it's easy to be the hammer. It's hard yeah. to be the nail. Mm. He's just thumping over everybody, yeah, but yeah. he ain't really to tell some, some licks, like, licks. Yeah, yeah. N- outside of sparring, no head guard. You yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, so let's see. But anyway, out of that, back to what we said. The football now. Mm. Yeah, man, it's back. It's looking good. Season's looking strong. I like yeah, the way it started. Yeah, it's, it's Usual nice. suspects. Before we go early on, mm-hmm. predictions. What are we saying? Who are you saying for the league? Oh, if I'm honest, I'll be real. If I'm honest, I feel like it's between. I, I, it's between three, but it's mad to say this. I feel like Liverpool's a dark horse in it. You know? Yeah, they're the dark horse. They're the dark because no one's really chatting about them. Like it's Chelsea and it's Man City. Do you get what everyone's watching what Man City's doing and everyone's kind of hyping off for Chelsea? Mm. But then when you check it, Liverpool are strong as hell. So I feel like it's, I feel like Liverpool could be the dark horses and nick it. But if I had to pick, um, it's out of Liverpool City. and Man City. What about you, Daps? I don't know. I think Chelsea will finish top two. Mm. So it's just if they can top Man City. But so, I think it's one of them two. But Chelsea are not finishing no lower than second. You don't think Liverpool got a chance? Yeah, well, I think them too. If Liverpool come third, yeah. happily, Man United are going to underachieve. They're lucky mm. if they get fourth. Yeah, they look poor on the I'm weekend. saying they look poor. They're lucky if they get fourth. Before the first two games, I said Liverpool are finishing third mm-hmm. because of the no shopping. Because of the no shopping, I said third. But now that I've watched a couple games, I see how they're moving, the chip on their shoulder. I'm saying it's at Liverpool and City. But Liverpool have got Chelsea. By the time this is coming, Liverpool are playing Chelsea. Mm-hmm. And I tell you this, Chelsea will not deal with my team the way they dealt with yours. Yeah, no, 100%. They will not deal with my team. Like Van Dijk, but at, I, they, they, will, they will, I think, I think the, the, the play, this is the thing, this is always the fuck with. Because, Save, because I'm, not, I'm saying the same thing you're going to say, go on. Because Liverpool had the pleasure of seeing how Lukaku played against Arsenal to kind of understand how he's going to set up against Van Dijk. He's going to want to go to feet with Van Dijk. Van Dijk's a different kettle of fish. Different. It's going to be, it's going to be a, a sick battle to see, but I think Liverpool's tactics in handling that yes. is going to be very different. Yes. And then it will, in order, change Chelsea's tactics. Do you get what I mean? During yeah. the game. I'm, Do you get what I'm saying? It's going to be a game. Is, is, Van Dijk is Van Dijk ready, though? I'll we don't this. know. That's we don't know if thing. he's ready, but I'll tell you this. We don't know what I mean by ready. Though. I know what you mean by ready. Bad I mean, like, game mm. back, yeah. back, match ready. But mm. I'll tell you this. Lukaku ain't dealing with him like that. And on top of that, like, see, I know he went into Milan for a season, like, but he's the same Don that was getting pocketed a year ago. Mm. Like, the whole world ain't changed. Then Van Dijk and them were, were pocketing him at mm. Manchester United. You see what I'm saying? Man just bought the, the, man just just bought bought the confidence fit. is no, up. But it's like the media and everything bought Yeah, the they built it up. And, and Arsenal, Arsenal was shook game. anyway. Their defence yeah, yeah, was shook. shook. Does Mari, everyone think that... Lukaku was that bad before he went, though? He, no, he, he was great. He wasn't, no, he wasn't he was that great, bad. He was, but he, he, was he ain't turned he into Superman. Oh, he was, he was, you see what I'm trying to say? He's I great. He tightened up. Some yeah, he, he, sharp skilled, up. he sharpened up he his sharp skills. Up. And it, Man trimmed down the body. Trimmed down the body as well. He I even see, see, I even see him pre-season. He looks in great shape. He's Man trimmed down the body. I see him pre-season. I don't know if you lot follow the foot doctor. He trains NFL NFL American football players on their footwork. And I see Lukaku was out there putting in work with him. But that's undercover because he never posted it. But mm. the foot doctor posted about it, and that's how I saw it because I follow him. Mm. So he's been putting in that work. So he, you know, he's gonna be up there with the with the goals this season. What I'm saying with Lukaku is, don't get me wrong. If them man give him any scraps, he's feeding. He's feeding. He, he, he's yeah, that's he, the problem. But, he, he, but as far as just the, all that that bully boy thing he did with you lot on Sunday, no way, no way, no how. But you lot have got a soft team anyway. Like there's no physicality yeah, in you lot's team. No physicality. No, but we'll after see the watching, result, the match is going to be coming. Will be done by the time this comes out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, everything yeah, I'm yeah. saying could could be. What's the sco- What's the say? score prediction then? That game's mad. I can't say it because if we could lose, we could. Home Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool three one at home. But I'm saying we should win that two nil. Two one three one. 
I like the two one. I like the two one off the two one because at the end of the day, the, thing, the difference also in the them and are aggressive. They're, they're aggressive. Due to score. You think? So I mean, as far as attacking wise, them and go hard Chelsea. Yeah. So they're due to score. They're due so to three score. Three one, but my boys are my boys are on fire right now still. And Arsenal just didn't have no firepower. What it is is I see Liverpool in the last two games. They're very very strong. But if I about what I think, and I think Chelsea's going to do great this season, I think they're going to do it, isn't it? So if if Chelsea pull points it's off of Liverpool and take three then points, then, yeah, then, then, it's on. then it's on. It's on. It's on, and uh, that then, puts a cat losing. amongst the pigeons. Chelsea's not losing. That puts a cat amongst the pigeons. For us now, going forward, we, we just have to score Chelsea's against Man City. Huh? He said that with chess. Huh? They're they're that with chess. They might not win, but they're not losing. Oof. Arsenal now, we just need to score against Man City. We do not even win or get a result to score. Now, I said from us to score, that would be, be a result for us to score. From you lot lost to Brentford, and then I heard you, I said to the, oh, three games, no points. I said to my brother, three games, no points, guarantee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. knew you was losing to Chelsea. Oh, I know you you was, yeah, City. Man City. So I tweeted it the other day. Yeah, yeah, I tweeted yeah. the other day. I said, I don't know why my brother had to come interfere and mess up my son's my life at three years old and make him support Arsenal to make him have a life of suffering now. Yeah, I said to him the other day, deep, he, you know? my brother went to me, ah, oh, how the mighty have fallen. And I said, when was you lot mighty, blood? Yeah. <laughs> when was you lot mighty? And then, uh, and then my son goes, no, nah, but we was. I said to him, all you know is old stories. Yeah. Like like the war gods four like like Vikings. Odin, you know when you watch Vikings and yeah Ragnar and uh, them yeah, man. Yeah. and I said when did it, when did you see it? he goes yeah before just before I was born my son's sixteen bro. bro you see what I'm trying to say so he don't really know the, the glory days it's old it's old story story sound cute though. Bro. it's mad no there's no it's pain mad, there's no pain like football pain you know I know and it's the hope that kills you it's the hope it's mad the hope every every week my son and my brother they get excited. It's, it's the same thing. And I know you're the same. You build in yourself out like, nah, this game is great. No, no, I know you're terrible right now. Are you accepting like, it? In my yet? head, I'm thinking, Ra, do I, do I force my son to support Arsenal or do I just let him find his own feet? Because nah, that's what I'm thinking right now. That's how bad it is. Because how can I put the man in? You kind of got I'm forcing still. still. It, yeah, you got because forcing. Because if he can take this kind of disappointment no, through life, you're setting him up for life. You're setting him up. These are life lessons, man. You're setting him up in life. Force him, force him, force him. Force him. Because I've gone through it all as a Liverpool fan. Come on. I've been through it all. Bag of years of us being poo. So it is what it is. But right, out of that into this let's go topic for the day mm-hmm. topic for the day we're gonna go survival mm-hmm. and surviving now it can be any kind of surviving Doug it could be surviving as in just getting by financially surviving as in what it takes to survive in the, in the, on, on ends mm-hmm. surviving as in what it takes to be if you're living a certain life or just surviving whatever, any way you want to take it, it's up to you. But yeah, survival, just general survival, Doug. Right, Pick generally. anyone you want and uh, run uh, with it from there. What stuck out in my head what, from I what you said. I would. Go ahead, let me bust the champagne. Bust the champs. Which one's cold? Give me the coldest one. Really Let's true. go. All right, because of what's been going on. It's kind of, nothing's been flying around in the news, but we all know it's been going on is what's going on in the roads. Mm-hmm. So let's talk about surviving in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I thought we might uh, end up there. And 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 just like people just taking time and being vigilant right now, because there's a lot going on. And I think man, are get man, are still getting caught off guard. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like by not expecting some of these things to pop off the way they're popping off. And I think if you start to be a little bit more vigilant and a little bit more. You know what I mean? Get your get your, your spider senses around you. It might 100%. help you kind of... Give me an example of what you mean, though. But like, us. because it's like, we're still going into situations where man are putting themselves in predicaments where they're arguing with people, getting into madnesses with people, where everyone's carrying... Everyone's... No, civ- no, yeah, come on. No, professional. No, it's still same yeah, and, and man are, and man are walking into situations like where people are carrying the madison knives, man are getting stabbed up like... You know, I'm at a stage now, any form of confrontation, I'm like, bro, have it. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not in it. Like, just do your thing, in it. Like, I see what's going on, I clock the play, and I just be like, come on. You know what I mean? Don't mean man's running or backing out or da 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 da, but you got to know when to pick your battles and know when to pick your fights because you got to analyse the situation and know what you're doing, in it. Do you get what right. I'm saying? And right. I think a lot of men are not processing what's going on around them before getting into these. Or, or, like these altercations which are then putting them in situations where man are getting stabbed from behind 
Man, I get, you know what I'm saying? We watch some of these videos, man are getting stabbed from all different directions, from a gang of six or seven where they might have thought they were arguing with two men. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, don't turn your back. Don't turn your don't back. Turn be your vigilant. Back. Be a little bit more aware of your surroundings. Have your spider senses tingling because what you might think is a one-on-one -on -one will then turn into a five-on-one. Do you get what I'm saying? Or where you think you might be outnumbering the next man, there's a gang around the corner chilling. Like, understand what you're 100%. doing and what you're putting yourself into. And you've got to also ask yourself, is the situation worth it? Is the argument worth it? Like, if it's over something dumb, like, man, cutting up a car or doing whatever and doing this and doing that, you've got to kind of know, is it worth it? This is all part of the survival team. Choose you know your battles. What I'm Choose your battles, Choose man. Choose your battles. Because not every battle can, needs the, to be won in a certain way. Yeah, you're definitely right on that road race team. Yeah, 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 come on. That road race team's dead. When, I, when it comes to driving and that, I'm just going to say that road rage thing. When it comes to driving and jumping out and all of that and getting into it with people, I always think to myself this year, if I'm driving and someone does some stupidness or whatever, I always think to myself, they would never do this out of the comfort and the protection of the car. Yeah, so yeah. who cares? I keep it moving. Mm -hmm. More time I just... I don't know if they're bibbing me from behind. I'll, I'll just go super slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Starting yeah, yeah. to make me, you know, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I ain't got time to be jumping out and, and for what? Mm. You understand? I'm just gonna get nicked or something mad's gonna happen. happen so yeah. There's no point to. We gotta pick our battles out here. But yeah, mm. carry on with what you're saying. Carry on. Yeah, we gotta pick our battles. And man has just gotta walk safe in it. Like at the end of the day, because it's a cold world. It's the a cold coldest. world out there. Do you know what I mean? And do whatever you think you need to do to keep yourself safe. But. At the same time, be very vigilant. That's all I can say, like, in terms of the road thing. Like, just yeah. be vigilant, just they, man. Listen, what you said at the beginning is so true because I always say this. Anything can happen at any moment on the end. Mm. Any, any moment. And that's what you got to be thinking. Yeah. Any moment, anything can happen. You mm. can be walking now, accidentally bump into a man and that and he'll turn around and flipping stab you in your neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's yeah. having a bad day. You understand yeah. what I'm trying to say? Like, anything can happen at any moment. You don't mm. all know this. So... All right, let me say, palms, when you're on ends, how you move as far as just knowing how to move day to day, like? Uh, just stay vigilant, man. You have to just you have your wits about you, innit? Like, even the other day when, I was, when we went um, on the ends, from the barbers. Yeah. Remember, you, and you put the back window down. I said, fam, why you got the back window <laughs> down for? I was like, nah, man. Yeah, Pubs is definitely on it. Man can't even, man, yeah. man can't even let a little air in my car, man. Nah, nah, man can't, <laughs> even, let, man can't even let a little circulation. <laughs> let, let, little ventilation but I get you know. vehicle. I get, yeah. But I get it, because I know yeah. how niggas think, there's, but... There's enough times where, like, I've been with my brethren and, like, we're chilling now, yeah? I mean, all of a sudden, the car's pulled up. Yeah, and they, and they thought that was someone else, innit? Mm -hmm. So, like, then, just them thinking that you're someone else now could be a next issue, because someone's yeah. going to react to either you or lot. them. That happens so if your mm -hmm. window's down now, then you're in a you are at a disadvantage, isn't it? So that's how I look at it. Yeah, it was hot though. Yeah, hot. <laughs> and, it was and one thing I say as well, <laughs> hot. even from now, I I I get you, but yeah. believe you me, when you're with me, yeah, I've done by the time I sat in my car already. Uh -huh. I've done my mirror checks and this, that, the other. Yeah, but that. also, man don't walk in fit. Man don't walk in fit. That's the that's next thing as well. fit. That's the that's first it. thing. It's, yeah. it, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say it's not fit. And I know what you're saying fully because... I don't move like that. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah. I wind them my windows, I'll, I'll, whatever. Man, them yeah, will drop yeah, their I'll, top. Yeah, yeah. It's whatever. But I get where you're coming from because it's that, it's not a paranoia, but mm -hmm. it's a kind of, it's a little PTSD you still got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, understand? Yeah, Whereas we're older. So we're yeah, kind of, yeah. like, I'm, you know, bigger battles, big, bigger so battles. So it ain't nothing, but yeah, yeah. I get where he's coming from. Yeah, of course. Fully. Because that's, saying, that's also just like, you say, being vigilant. Like, you see like, when man go out, like, part of the surviving thing is being in situations, because this is the thing, throughout my life, man's been in many places, many raves, many, many madnesses, like, where man's been in raves, it's gone off, shots fired, whatever, all of that stuff, but it's about, like, what's the word? Like, you know, I say vigilant, but I know you understand what I mean, it's, it's scanning the room, like, understanding your surroundings and That's understanding do. and you seeing on the head. Like, I watch a lot. Like, I'm a, I'm like, some, I like to people watch as well. That's another thing, yeah. And I think part of survival, people might think people watching is being nosy, but I think part it's of not. survival is people, watch, people watching and understanding people's movements Bro, and seeing things fully. Really seeing things really go, behaviors. yeah, seeing behaviours and seeing man. things move I'm, before I'm they actually so happen. And mm. when you do, you know, like when you've been in a rave and you can see something and you instantly know, ah, oh, about, something's about to happen there. Do you get what I'm saying? Because you see the yeah. movements, you might see a man turn a certain way and that their, their, their expressions and their, their body language is 
screaming mm. that rah something's gonna go off here. Yeah, and you hear the whispers and you yeah, could yeah. but even the music's loud but it's like you can hear it. You get you can see it. You can see it. The music could be as loud as it was, was but you, you sense it. it. Everything's yeah. silent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's and that's what it is. And I think sometimes people that get touched like and I, I don't mean it in a bad because listen, some you like I'm not trying to say you know what I'm saying, but I feel like sometimes it's your your awareness of your surroundings and understand what's happening is what gives you that split second. That, that head start. That head start, if you need to duck, if something's going off, you might see a man pull out something and you think, boy, let me just, you get me? Or that head start. That, or someone's trying to move to you and it gives you that moment just to say, like, like turn and be like, what's, like, you get yeah. what I mean? And react or yeah. whatever. Do you get what I'm saying? It's yeah. just having yeah. that, your wits about you. Yeah. No, you I know what I mean? A, I move a certain way. Like, even oh, when, man. even when, um, when I'm with my men sometimes, <laughs> What are you saying, um, yes, bro? Yes, Come on, bro. Room, yeah, yeah. Blessing. The room just keeps increasing. Well, yeah, even when man's on ends, yeah, like he'll say to me, like, sometimes when me and him are moving, like, me and Palms are moving, he'll be like, oh, all these ends you're going are bait, blood. You're going bait ends, yeah. <laughs> Like, these yeah. are bait, blood. Yeah. But I don't move like that. Nah. You'll see me moving on ends, bolo, bro, yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know, I'm, blood. Come I on. feel like, but you I don't get move it because like I believe. Man moves and I don't think no one's coming. No yeah. one ain't coming to trouble me like that. No. And if they are, they're going to have to come straight at me. You understand? Yeah. So I'm not phased by that. So we must be able to move freely, but you have to be vigilant. Eyes and ears. Mm. Don't be. I ain't going to be walking around with no headphones in my ears. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, and this, yeah, yeah. that ain't happening. Around yeah, yeah. ends. If you see me with headphones in here, you might see me in one main town centre where I might be yeah, popping yeah. in a gym or something. Mm. I'm just coming out. But mm-hmm. other than that, you ain't seeing me walking loose balling like that. Because yeah, yeah. that ain't happening. But I, but we got to be able to go wherever we want. But you must have your eyes and ears open, open and be yeah. alert to the surroundings and the settings. Especially if you're raving, clubbing. Worse if you're, if you're, if you're uh, a D-boy or a trap or something, mm. you better have your eyes open, you better yeah, have yeah. your ears open, you, to survive to everything, you better be watching your friends. Mm-hmm. You better be watching, I say your friends. You better Women, as, women as well. Women as well. Women Every, as well like, yeah. Everyone. Everyone in your circle, you got to watch. It's, it's customers. Key, it's key to your survival. So, uh, that's real survival, bro. <laughs> yeah, like. You got to be watching customers. You got to be watching your friend them. You got to be watching the other shutters them. You gotta be watching everything, bro. Everything. That's everything. a different kind yeah. of profession, bro. Because, yeah, yeah. Well, one That's day, a different kind of like, profession. And you say it, you slip. Cause you gotta watch your customers as well, because you know what as well. It's like, like you said, because if you're if you're in that game, oh, in that part of survival. It's like I was chatting to my boy the other day, and he's doing his thing and whatever, and I was kind of saying to him like, bro, like he, he sent me his new number, and I'm like, fam, like you're sending my new numbers and that, but you still got the same phone on you. You know, mm. like like part of the game of survival, like. Move smarter, like. Do you get what I'm, I'm not saying? Like, most, but yeah, you got yeah, like, to gotta gotta watch smart. the feds as well. You got to watch the feds. You got to watch everyone's on to you. Your clients, yeah, your customers, whatever you want to call it. Right. If sometimes when, because I know some people treat customers as cats, or like or whatever That's is what whatever. Think. But sometimes you need to ask them a few questions. Like you, you good. Like understand mm. where their mindset is. You don't know if they done a man. This. They might got nicked the other day, and you're still linking them, licking out dots to them, mm. and don't even know what's going on in Survival their lives. Like it's, it's just simple questions. Do you get what I'm saying? Survival because team. when you get nicked now, and you're thinking, "Rah, someone snitched on man," you don't know who it was, but it might have been that you're one of your your your, your, your clientele that was going through a little depression, got a bag, then all of a sudden a little pressure, and he's singing. Yeah. Do you get what I'm it's saying? It's real. But if, you, if, you. but if they see you as a type of maybe a little bit closer than just someone that comes and takes their money and fucks off. Or bads them up on the phone or whatever, whatever. Yeah, remember, there's some. There's, you get what I'm like, saying? Yeah, you gotta build a. You gotta, yeah, a local you gotta rapport. A local, uh, you gotta have a little rapport with them. Is it? So, uh, so they're coming to tell you who's who's, yeah, who's got yeah, nicks yeah, yeah, and yeah, who's snitching this and who's this that, that other. Local, nice uh, them. You know nice them. Ones. them look after Badding people. them up and all of that. You're the first name on the list. Yeah, yeah. When the, when they get nicked for for for, for stealing the, the the champagne bottles from Sainsbury's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and the Fed saying to them, "Come on, you're not getting a bag of brown until you give us some names." The first name, the first name on this is gonna be flipping that that Trevor. He's always bad. Him, he's always yeah, passing yeah, me yeah. off. He don't like me. Anyway. He's always, yeah, he's yeah, always yeah. he wouldn't let me off that two pound that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm trying yeah, to say? Yeah. So I know it sounds bad, but these are all parts of survival. Like survival, survival is it's across the board. Of, it goes a, across the board. It's not just your, your, your life. That's with you, whatever level you're at. The, it could be just day to day, the like freedom. I said, the freedom. It uh. could just be as well, like we said, surviving as far as paying your bills. Listen. Surviving as far as living through today, I'm bro- I've only got six pounds. Yeah, for and three days. And this is for three days. For three days. How are we, are we flipping that? Yeah, I want to hear 
How is what, 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 free pound for three days? He said he's got first six pounds for three days. Three first days. Of, three first of all, you're not going nowhere. That's first and foremost. Six pounds for three Unless you're walking, you're not going nowhere. I'm going macro and noodles, bro. Macro and noodles. Macro and noodles for a couple of days, fam. What, with the three pound? How many How many tins of mackerel can I get with the three pound? And how many? 39p, innit? And what, 39p for real cheap, cheap mackerel. And then what, 50 something pound, 50 something p for a tin of... You're surviving. I'm surviving. You gotta survive. You gotta survive. But this is the thing. What did he say? Tuna. 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 Palms. Palms is never really suffering. Yeah, he's never really suffering. Really suffering. Yeah, you've got. You've got back in his Palms got back in his yard. Who put that in the tuna? Next to the tuna. You know what I mean? Next to the salmon. He never really had salmon. Next to the salmon. Salmon as well. Come on. No, no, blood. I didn't say. Listen, blood. I'm not gonna. Tuna's more money, bro. Listen, I'm not in there pretending like my fridge ain't laced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, yeah. Don't get pretending they fridge ain't late. The fridge is buff. The fridge is late. But, but I'm just so saying, if a man's got to survive, a man's got to survive. Man now, tuna's not cheap. But even, no, you can't buy this is the thing. Like even though with man, man, even though with man being able to buy the food man wants to buy, I'm I'm still on survival mode. That I buy the necessities of what Always. I need Always. and make sure that I've got certain things in Always. there where I might stretch out a meal with noodles Always. and mackerels just to fucking. You get I'm me. Polish. Listen, man, what like, I just bro, say I last week, week, keep the broke mentality, keep bro. Keep the broke mentality. Take care of the plus, take care plus, of the plus, That don't change with me. Don't keep change, the broke mentality. Man was a cool, man was a little yeah, chef with the kettle. Yeah, it could have so been, man could have been. Yeah, yeah tell me. Like, you know what I'm I saying? I was getting busy. I was getting busy, busy. with the kettle, so I don't mind a little noodles in And it could have been surf and turf the day before, blood. Yeah. But today we just switch it up. Yeah, man. Live humble. Know how to stretch out a meal and whatever. So survival all sorts. Survival. Because people don't prioritise. And that's another thing. Like, if you're going, like you said, when you bring up the bills thing, yeah. Like, if man, I got bills and you got things to pay off and things to do, understand your priorities. Like, I don't want to see, like, I don't want to hear a man telling me, like, coming to man and saying, right, you know what, I'm going through a madness. Mm. But a week ago, I see you at festivals, living mm. your best life, or I see you at a rave, cheap. And doing it up, cheap. and then trying to tell me, well, you know what, I've got, I've got to enjoy No, you ain't. Festivals ain't cheap. It ain't cheap, but not even just festivals. You know what I mean? Like, anyway, out, I know what you're out. saying. Yeah, like, you should be out. You no should be extras. Out. No extras. No extras. If life ain't good, if life ain't good, humble living. Humble living. Humble living. Like, it's like when I said to my, my, my peeps the other day, I said, boy, listen, for me, even though I'm still out and about, I said, bro, I've got to take it, take it down a peg because I've got things I need to do. Always. You know what I'm saying? Always. Like, no, you've got to know you, what you got to do. You because prioritize. you got to prioritise what it is that you need to do in your life, innit? Every time. Big T. What we saying? Survival on ends. On ends? Yeah. Let's go with that one. Survival ends. What, what, what's and, and, and eyes and ears. Go and on. Sometimes, sometimes you can you can avoid things and you live another day. Great another point. Mm. Great point. Let me cut you. That's a major thing you yeah. just said there, right? So, you see what it is. I say this at times. It's not every obstacle you have to go through. Mm. Sometimes just allow it. You know the ones. That's a big part of survival. If your gut says to you, "Oh boy." Oh, I've got to go to this thing today, but I'm not sure if it's going to go off or rear tear tear. Like, you ain't got to go. You could just sit down in your well, yard. It's real though. You understand? You could just settle. And then you get the phone call the next day, bro, you know what, man? And now bro, you, sur- and you survived. Off, you know? And you're like, you survived. You know what I'm because, saying? Because yeah. it's never, I don't like to say it, but it's never far away. Mm. You understand? Like, the worst of circumstances can be around the corner now. You understand? So, You've got to have your ears, eyes, make decisions and kind of, mm-hmm. you know. So, T, carry on. Cause I like that. You said, avoid. Yeah. avoid Give me a- avoid. Live another day. And, you know, you're going to see tomorrow. Mm. You're not going to be in a place that you didn't think you would have ended up being. That's For right. example. You might want to go. Right. Someone said this to me this weekend. One of my old school shot a friend in. Sometimes we have our ons and offs. We, you know, our set was kind of... He had his set, I had my set. My set was more. Mm, but money. anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But money done. Always made money, Doug. Always. Mm. No, no, no. Cakey. But he'll, then he'll go jail for like a four years. Then he'll go yeah, jail. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, when yeah, he's yeah. out... He's doing it. Oh, yeah, 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 but you're holding a bid. You don't mind legendary. holding a bid for the... Yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, go yeah, yeah, reward you. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah that, we're going at it. Like, he <laughs> does his thing. But that's years ago now. And then the other day... Someone mentioned his name to me. So I was like, well, how's he getting on? And they were kind of like mocking him because, oh, he just, he, he's, he's got a woman now and he's a courier. He's a courier. So I'm like, yeah, good for him. Yeah, and this yeah, is exactly yeah. what I said, Doug. Yeah. I said, good for him. He made a choice. They weren't for him. He yeah, grew yeah, up. Yeah, he couldn't yeah. go on forever. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's still here. He didn't mm-hmm. get shot in his neck. Mm-hmm. He didn't get stabbed. He yeah. ain't doing a 30. 
Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. He's just he, he's made a decision. I don't know how his life is now altogether because mm-hmm. we don't chat like that. But I just said I genuinely said and I meant it. Mm-hmm. Good for him. There ain't no shame in that. No, you understand? No, no, no. He's living his life. Mm-hmm. You understand? He's obviously made a decision. That, okay, I've done this time and time and time again, and mm-hmm. it ain't worked. And it ain't really worked out. The mm-hmm. juice ain't been worth the squeeze. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now yeah. I'm living. You understand? Yeah. And I'm whatever my life. He could be much happier. Yeah. He could be. Most living, is. He could be living his happiest life right mm-hmm. now. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't looking over his shoulder. Yeah. They don't know about that. Where yeah. you're looking over your shoulder constantly. You understand? You've got beef everywhere. Uh, yeah. You understand? You can't rest easy. Yeah. You don't know when the door's coming off. You don't know if it's the ops. Yeah. They don't understand them kind of things yeah. where you've got to so be on edge. So him I'm just doing his them. career job. And it, please, I'll be honest with you, career job ain't no shit money. But so I when people... A bag, of my, a bag of my yeah. drillers, older, younger, down to younger, younger. Mm-hmm. Do the courier thing and they big yeah. up all of you look. You yeah. look and buy your roots and this, that, the other, yeah, and the yeah. third. Like, don't make anyone tell you no different mm-hmm. because if you go and be a top shotter and you get a 20, or if you go and be a top shotter and you end up shot, mm-hmm. all they're going to say is, boy, you know, we're mad still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. them ones like, how's that helping you, bro? Yeah. Do your courier thing. Now you've just increased the chances of survival, bro. You're mm-hmm. less likely for something to happen to you. You see, hundred percent, and everyone's type of survival is different. Like everyone's he might have realized, he might have realized, you know, in order for me to go forward, this is the changes I need to make in my life. He's done a lot of birth. You get what I'm He's saying? A lot, a lot of birth is like we can all laugh about Joe and feel like, yeah, it might like Joe is Joe and whatever, whatever. But when you constantly go back and forth, like I've already been once, and I, I said to myself, I'll never go again. Do you get what I'm saying? You Some made the man, decision. You made the decision. I made the decision. You get me? Certain man, like they might be cool with it, but then after a while. If he's doing four stretches, then he comes out. Then he reboots and does it gets nicked and does another three. Then he comes out. It, it, after a while, that becomes so tiresome because then mm. when you there will come a point you look back on your life and said, "Right, I did eleven years behind the door." Then when you actually break down about the, what he did, you see what I'm I saying it's about what he did. And then when you actually break down eleven years, that's eleven. That could have been the difference between one of his kids being a baby to when they're mm. leaving second, like to go secondary school, and, and all these little differences. And and that's another thing, like when you talk about surviving and whatever, like. There's other people involved that in it. It's not just about yourself. Like, mm. it's you've got mm. kids, you've got your girl, you've got Everything. family, your parents. Your, yeah. It's not just about you. So sometimes yeah, when they, you're... They say you're, they're doing the bird with you. They're doing some it of with them, you. Not yeah. some of them, because some of them girls let the evil slap Bro. Me. They weren't doing no bird with him. <laughs> they was doing all sorts, but they, they were weren't doing, doing no bird. They <laughs> everything getting, but bird. Everything but bird. Like, them little girls were getting bent over, turned around, <laughs> spun. Mm. Hey. See what I'm saying? Oh, that's good. so. Hey. You probably he's got a good woman now. From what yeah, I'm hearing, yeah. it's better that. And sometimes a, a good woman him. is what you need to survive. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Oh, that, can help. that can help. You know what I'm oh. saying. It's the realest. That's what you're saying. The maddest thing is, but you see when you said the survival thing at the start. Yeah, I was thinking you have to be careful though, because literally my brethren called me today. He was on thing of ah. Oh, his son got into a madness mm. on the weekend. Mm-hmm. His son's need to cover that. a big use. Nineteen, around mm-hmm. nineteen. But he's like, partly I'm to blame. Mm. I'm like, what do you mean? He said, true, we've been through whatever we've been through. I sheltered him so much that he went out now and the way he reacted is like he's in the fucking movies and mm-hmm. not getting himself rushed by seven brothers. Mm-hmm. But he said, he ain't set him up to survive in the real world. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So with survival, you kind of have to not mollycoddle anyone too much, you know, because mm-hmm. at one stage good, they're good. gonna have to fly on their good own. Talk. Mm-hmm. So you understand. So when, you, when you're on the Utes now, you got a. It's a mad balance. It's a mad balance because you want to protect them, but at the same time, your ultimate job is to make sure they can survive without you. Yeah. So that Believe. balance so, is I, nuts. I, 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 I think, feel you. Great. Uh, I'm glad you said that because that's important. I want right. to talk about that. And much. I think you should like cover it as well because obviously I met your son the other day, mm. yeah, mm. and he's 16, but he looks like like it's like he's a he looks like a good kid, like. Do you mm, get what I'm mm, saying? Mm, got his, he's a good like, kid. Got a, like, got his, he, he was mm. sat there, he's just chilled. Mm, mm. Like, come to the football team, he's not rude. Do you get no, what I'm mm, saying? Mm, yeah. Cause, so, how yeah. do you feel like you balance that, like what, like what Daps is saying, not sheltering him enough to the point where he's, you know what I mean, he's soft or maybe don't understand what's out there. Yeah. But then, balancing my, it that he does get a kind of a clue of what's out my, there. My, and my, my life, that I've, my life that I've lived, my fears that I have are why I couldn't let him let him let them be so mm-hmm. because it's like when I'm raising them he's a very he's a he's a nice child mm-hmm. well mannered all that you'd like how yeah. we would want we kind of bring some old school ways on him but 
he's I've been boot camping him since he was a youth without him mm-hmm. even probably knowing it. You know them ones mm-hmm. like I'll be saying certain things, doing certain things, training him in certain things. And I'm his dad in it, so how I move, he's gonna have to observe this. Even to where I sent him school was to get him ready for the for the world. You understand what I'm saying? Like I sent him to a school where like where I know where I know like it's gonna sit you you're gonna get a it's a reality check you yeah. understand because where you know where that that the house might be in a in a in a nice low loca- in a you, you mm. know where you know yeah, what I'm saying yeah, 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 it might yeah. be in a setting where it's it's, it's hidden it's, it's yeah, hidden. yeah yeah it's yeah. hidden yeah basically it's in a nice low it's, it's mm-hmm. in a nice low zones you know mm-hmm. it's not that sort of thing mm-hmm. it's, suburban yeah there you go <laughs> where it's a suburban setting because you want because you want cause again because you want him to survive yeah. you no, want to increase the it. chances I get it. I get so it. that was very much in the plans yeah. like location yeah. of where the but when he's going to school for me it was like four i'm like when it's time for him to school he's going in mm-hmm. so that he's amongst all these people all the man them he's getting an understanding all i can do is just i'm always just trying to forward think on it blood but yeah at the same time, I'm still scared. Yeah. I'm still afraid for him. You understand? Because I know it's rough out there. Yeah, this generation is different. But all I can do is just try and instill in him reality. Like, mm. I can't molly on him. I've got to be honest with him on certain things. Rough with him at times. Mm. Coarse with him at times. Like, I, my, my old olders were with me. Like, our older family members was with us. Old school shit. Mm. Rough you up a piece. Bad you up a piece at mm. times. He knows his love. There's never no nothing too heavy, but it's always harsh. Like, mm-hmm. we did. We moving like that for. We did. Like, keeping him masculine shit innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I talked to him now and I said to him the other day I was like blood you're 16 now you know you're, you're, you're almost considered a man you gotta move a certain kind of way you're gonna have your own family soon at some point you gotta pick make them understand Man, yeah, the make them understand the responsibilities and like just being wise and eyes and ears and talk to him on certain little bits sometimes his, his mum will say to me you need to tell him about you and you growing up and this that the other mm-hmm. and I'll be like nah you understand what I'm saying? Because it's not really that, mm-hmm. but enough to make him get the bearings. And he sees the man then. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. What? He's an observer. He knows all of you. He, he knows what's going on. He knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Palm, you know, Palm, you know. Palm sees him. We, we come gym and train and box. Yeah, yeah. Like, and this, that, the other. You don't need to glorify the Don't past. need to glorify it. Not, none of that. But mm-hmm. he knows what it is. But he's a good, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't spiteful. He's got a good demeanor. Yeah. This, that, the other. And we just pray. Mm-hmm. That's much more, not, not much more than that we can do. Mm-hmm. But yes, you should let your youth know about the realities of the world. Mm. You should make them understand. And you don't have to say yes to everything. It's not every party they want to go to, you have to say yeah. yes. It's yeah. not. Because my son hit me for the last two, he hit me for about five parties. <laughs> and I think I, I said, and he got a yes on three. Yeah, yeah. He got yeah. a yes on three. He got a denial for two. He got, that, a, he got a knockback on two. He's lucky. He got, yeah, yeah. He got a knockback on two. <laughs> like, He's lucky because like, my dad yeah. was giving me zero for five. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was back and it was sliding out of windows. I was back. Yeah, yeah. I was my, 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 my I was one for five. I was one for five. Yeah, I was one for five. One for five. I was all for five, black. Bro, one for five. Oh, mum used to be funny about them two. Yeah, like all for five. Man used to try to it. Yo, blood. Hear what I'm gonna say, yeah. Not for me yet on Friday, mm. and just say, "Oh, you heard about it?" Yeah, yeah. And let's yeah. see if that works this time. Because yeah. I asked her two weeks in advance. <laughs> <and it worked. laughs> yeah, it <laughs> so now let's try the surprise bro. one, bro. Oh, trust me, these you don't know how they got it. They don't know how good they got it, but no, nah, my thing was go to Nikos's yard. Yeah, that's yeah, how I was yeah, getting yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Go to Nikos's blood. Yeah, 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 Nikos's yeah, yeah. dad was true with it. Nikos yeah, let back. Like, yeah, go on then. Blood, all Nikos, all, all, all of them days were cold. Blood, yeah. All Nikos's dad said, "Nikki boy, wait, when you coming back?" That's <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> Next morning, man's making hey. man all the breakfast and everything. Yeah. Nikki boy, you like have a good time? Yeah, good. That's it. Yeah. Nikki, Nikki boy had the freedom of the city, you that's know. Right, man, them was man. riding up and down Brixton Hill, just going out whatever, whatever. We had the keys. Man, that boundary. The trust level. The trust level. There's always one. There's always one bridge that has like. No limits, like they can go out. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Like, I was, I was always on some boundaries thing. Like you know where it was. I could do my thing, but as soon as I broke one boundary, mm. that was it. Like yeah, yeah. You, you go ten steps back to rebuild again. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So that was Facts me. Only. Facts only. Facts but only. Big up Mumsy anyway. Big up. Oh, no, we're up big king, get me. Get, I big up Mumsy. Yeah, big, yeah. big up all, big up all the parents. All our mums. Big up all our parents. Yeah, man. Like they've all done. What they felt is best. Raising kids ain't easy. Not know? easy. It's a, it's a, and it don't stop. Yeah. Like, blood. As simple as you see it, your mum will still worry about you now. Yeah, it's the yeah, job's standard. not done. You yeah, see what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Your mum's still worried about you yeah. now. Yeah. The job's not done, but because she can relax a piece. She knows she's raised. Yeah, she, they know they've raised good men, mm. but the they're still gonna the worry because the roads is the roads. Yeah. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Even listening to what P was saying about his son, yeah. 
it made me think. One thing about the kids, and I feel why like a lot of these youths get caught out. They lack a lot, you know. Like, and what I mean, it's like there's, there comes a point where you, the, the youths out there, because I know now that I, now that I've been out and about with the dons and certain other things, I was saying to people, I didn't understand how many like young teenagers mm. wanted to show in it. Yeah, mm, mm. and I thought it was like a grown people's thing. Mm, mm. I'm starting to realize there's a lot of. Then we, we touch a lot of the like even twelve upwards demographic generational here, the thing, generational right? stuff yeah, and what I will say to you thing, youths out there as well is you man like where so I, I feel a lot of kids get caught up is that you look lack a lot and when I say lack a lot like you're loafing about like you're you're doing that, too I much you, you get what I'm you saying keep giving me things to feed up yeah 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 you're, you're, fully you're loafing fully. around too much like I agree if you're gonna cut, step out your yard Talk step out up. your yard with purpose Talk don't up. step out your yard with the idea of yes. just being on the roads. I go to the. If you're going to the park, you're going to the park. You're going somewhere whether you're to kick a ball, Bro, play the, on the swing, shoot some hoops. You've got a purpose. Yeah, so you're going yeah. somewhere with a purpose. Yeah. Then if you leave the park and you're going to the chicken shop, yeah. you're going to the chicken shop to eat. That's a yeah. purpose. But then from when you've got your food and you decide to stay there and chill, you've now increased the, the chances. Now you're lacking. Yeah, you're you lacking. get what I'm saying. Now no. you're lacking. Why I love that <laughs> is because I say that as a parent and I say that to any parents. And to youth, I encourage youth. I say, don't go and loaf. Go where you're going. Go where you're going. And go to the and come back, or go where you're going, and then to your next destination. There's no loafing in it. No loafing because loafing the loafing will get you we, in trouble. Loafing will get you in trouble. Yeah. Even though we used to, we used to loaf. But it was, but it was a different time. It was a different time. Now it will get you in trouble, bro. Yeah. So, so no loafing. Go to where you're going to. Yeah. It's ain't a stop and hang out and yeah, rear, rear, bag of us standing up outside. It's not even yeah. that now. You can't even do all that. You, you look you at can't. it like you say, like, like sharks eat where the fish hang in it. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Like, you know, where it's like mm. sharks will mm. look for where the batch of fish are all huddled together, chilling. Mm. And you got to think these youths on the road that are vultures, them man are sharks. They're, they're, they're swimming around. All they do is they're on electric scooters, they're rolling from ends to ends, going around. And if you're just lacking because you're just chilling in one spot and they buck up on you, there's a guarantee they're going to move to you. 100. And if you ain't got the way to spin your way out of it or you might not know another brother from the other side, there's a guarantee they're going to try. It. And then now you're in a predicament where if you've not got the skills to talk your way out of it, it's on. And the guarantee is that these men have got nines now. Do you yeah, get yeah. me? And like, the next thing as well... You know. Sorry, Doug. Do you want to yeah. say... No, 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 no. Don't feel no way to walk away. Yeah. Don't feel no way to, if you need to, run away. Mm-hmm. Your mum, this is for the youth, then your mum will be happy mm-hmm. to hear that you, you got, you was away and that you, you live and you live another day. You don't need to be the hero that got stabbed to death. Mm-hmm. You understand? Like, get away from the situation. That guy pulls the knife. I tell my son this. It's sad that you have to say that to your son. Yeah. It's sad. But it is. Imagine leave, that. What do, you, what do you have to do? What do, you, what do you do if a man pulls a knife and you? Yeah, I don't know. I've got to run. Right, okay. It's sad, but it's the reality we didn't yeah. be talking now. You understand what I'm saying? It's different too? knives. That's the thing as well. You remember when we, like, I know, when we was growing up, my might bring out a little flicky or a little Sutton. Yeah, the blood. A little Sutton. No, they're bringing out the blood. There's a possibility, like, I got the reach. I might mm-hmm. bang you before you could even maybe mm-hmm. touch me mm-hmm. with it. Or, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, this generation, bro, man fight you from, man are, man are moving like Highlanders out here, yeah, bro. This is the things they're bringing out. <laughs> You get me say, like, said it before, say it again. It's yeah, no bro, it's, it's no different. Less. So it, the running thing is a necessity if you want to survive because hand, uh, if you ain't got oh, nothing, well. hand Champagne. versus Podcast. Rambo versus yeah, these they, zombie they, knives, whatever, ain't yeah, gonna work. Mad. It's, it's mad. mad. It's mad. Um, <laughs> Rex, what are you saying on survival on the ends? Or is it calm for you? You feel like you get it different because you're Filipino and not... Yeah, yeah, I guess so. You feel like you get more of a pass? Is that what it is? The man that don't trouble you and then you're just walking <laughs> nice around no, the Philippines are just student Yeah, he looks like student yeah, like, like, He just gets a pass. That man will go Rex, home. Rex, 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 what do you smoke? Like, you know that Rex is like... Try and shut him a bag of weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and shut him a bag of weed. So you're nice. Fair enough. Fair enough. Nikos, what you say? Well, I just live by a simple principle, blood. Be the hunter and not the prey. Enough said. I'm not even going to expand on that. Simple don't as that. Need to. Like, don't even yeah. need to. Simple they say as that. You don't need to say no yeah. more. Because that's that's the outlook, blood. Mm. It's easier. Like I have to. We have to cover all aspects in here. Like yeah. we have to cover from the top to the bottom. But obviously, I'm a big man in it. So I've gone through all phases of life. I've mm-hmm. survived a lot of phases. Like, I've lost a lot of people along the way. I'm sure you have. Mm-hmm. I've lost a lot, of, a lot of close ones along the way. My survival instincts always been good. 
my, I've always been an eyes open, observing, thinking, laying there, switching off the light at night time, switching off the, the, the mobile devices, switching off the TV, mm -hmm. thinking, who's a snake? Who's this? Who's that? You understand? Being in situations and, and observing it all and, and seeing the outcome that I mm -hmm. want to get and being able to get to it. But not everyone's going to be like that. That's why we have to cover all aspects of mm -hmm. it. But it's taken a lot for every person in this room to be here because it's so easy to flip in. It can like that. Yeah. Like everybody in this room knows a bag of people. I know I said Trust a bag. Me. I didn't Trust say me. one. Yeah. See, really, I should be able to say one. Cause if you go in other environments, they're going to be like, oh, the only one they know is, is yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Tyler got hit by a car. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. But in our environment, we're going to- helmet on. He didn't, there you go. Bro. But we know a bag of people that's got touched. Yeah. You understand? So, or uh, lost their lives, this, that, the other. So mm -hmm. is that real? Like every one of us, is could be considered against the grain, against the statistics mm -hmm. to be here. So be vigilant, everyone. I, I can't think of a scenario where it's even come close. Survival in one time. Mm -hmm. This is slightly funny, but it's not funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's, <laughs> not funny. it's not funny, but it's slightly funny. Mm -hmm. I'm happy I laughed before I heard it. You will be. <laughs> you will be. <laughs> one time, yeah. Let's say. I, I, I came across, I managed to add myself a few boxes of Ralph Lauren track suits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've got a few boxes of Ralph Lauren track suits, right? Mm -hmm. So I've rang one of my people then. I'm not saying he's in the room. And I've said, listen, I've got a few boxes of Ralph Lauren track suits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got a few boxes of Ralph Lauren track suits. Everyone looked at the same person. Nah, I thought so, I swear. We'll see. But I've got a few boxes of Ralph Lauren track suits. This is how much they're selling for, whatever, whatever, whatever. A week later or so, I was off ends. My person that's in the room rings me and goes, yeah, I've got a guy. He says he wants a box of Ralph Lauren track suits. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, no problem. I'm come, making my way back, turning to meet me at such and such, this car park. Uh -huh. Me at such a car, I'll oh, come. He's like, yeah, I'm with the guy now. He's with me and we're going to sort out these, the, the, the transaction. Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. I said, they got the cash. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the cash. I get to the car park early, because that's my style. I get there early. Car park's dark tough. You know when it gets dark in the evening, like about yeah. five. Mm -hmm. So I get there. Say the car park's like this room, like that kind of the size of the room. So I park, you come in, I parked in the first corner. So here, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the whole rest of the room is a big car park. Dark yeah, tough. yeah. I'm there early though. Speaking to my girl, he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm with my man now. He's coming, da, 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 da. So I parked off. No one's there, you know, black tough. Yeah. I'm sitting there. A car comes in like a little van. A white van comes in. Comes in, parks in the middle. They don't mm. see me. I'm in the corner. Two minutes later, a next car comes in. Three tick off brothers in the car. Mm -hmm. Hacking. They come in. Mm -hmm. They see the van. The van's parked in the middle. They circle the van. Through the, instead of stopping next to it, you know when you're gassed? Yeah. Drive round the van three times. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Man to the other man like yeah 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 laughing. Then man get out. They were talking to each other like yeah rubbing hands. Yeah, mm -mm. and you're just sitting there. I'm like, just sitting there like this. I'm like, just sitting there watching well, the play. That's in the room is bringing. I'm, I'm watching the play. <laughs> I'm saying nah, these men can't have come to eat me. They can't have come to eat me for Ralph Lauren tracksuits. For Ralph Lauren tracksuits. <laughs> They were, sexy, they yeah, were sexy though. They were sexy Ralph Lauren though. White yeah. ones. What? Proper. Yeah. So fucking. <laughs> I'm so I'm just watching, observing. Now I'm like, wow, mm. I'm sitting there for long, just watching them. But they, they, then one of them clocks me, the car in the corner, mm -hmm. and they kind of start holding down the, the behaviors and activities. Mm -hmm. I'm still watching, like, right, okay. So I ring my guy now. I was like, well, you coming with it? You coming? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I said, there's two cars in there, blood. They're moving overly happy, blood. Like something's going on. Like they've come tick bears, one in a van, and it's like yeah. they've come to wrap something today. But you sure it's because yeah. there's no reason for them to be here. This car park dead. Yeah. You sure your guy's got the pee? I said, ask him. He's, he goes, give me one sec. He's asked the brother, you got the pee. Ready to tell him, I say to him, tell him you want to count the money. Mm -hmm. The brother's going, ah, oh, ah, oh, money. I ain't got no money. I thought it was going to be like, we we're going to sort a of consignment thing. Da, da, da. Yeah. In that moment, I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. I fully know. You can see the whole thing in it, palms. Mm -hmm. You can see what's going on. Mm -hmm. But me now, I'm sitting there, I said, I'm vexed now, ain't it? Yeah. But this is the thing, my ego. These man think they, 
I opened the car door in it to make the thing light up. Yeah. And I sat there. Because it's like, you lot are really going to, what? Yeah, what, this is what man want to do. This is what man really wants to do. Yeah. Because they don't know it's me. Yeah. They don't know it's me. They just know it's Someone some guy. Yeah, yeah. So they're waiting to, for man to Whoever come. Whoever it is. They're waiting man. for the guy to come. They yeah. might think it's the guy that's coming with... with yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, yeah. Door, I sit there for a while. I smoke them turns. I rolled up. Mm-hmm. I'm looking on them. They're looking on me. Mm-hmm. I'm looking on them. They're looking on me. I light my spliff. I'm looking on them. Long enough for them to recognise... Like, yeah. fuck you lot, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck yeah. you all, innit? Like, yeah. what are you going to fucking do? Yeah. And then when I'm done, I put my spliff out, get out, drive out. I survived. Mm-hmm. And I told my, 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 my guy, I just said, listen, that was a little drop of the ball there. But mm-hmm. we move. You understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah, we move. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you have to have eyes and ears, bro. Come on. Because we're living in the fucking trenches. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be the hunter. Be not the, the hunter. Yeah, like yeah, my yeah, man yeah, said. Yeah, be one step ahead. Be one Bible. step ahead. Especially when you're in the, in the retail game, bro. You've got to be it's one step. some shady motherfuckers mm. in these games, bro. Don't think they won't get... They'll wrap bro. you for them fucking tracksuits, bro. bro. They'll wrap you for socks. They'll wrap you for the socks. Bro, they'll wrap you for the socks. They'll wrap you for anything. Yeah, so for the wrapping. I say all of that. <laughs> I'll wrap you for the wrapping. Don't ever, yeah, don't wrap you for the wrapping. <laughs> 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 Don't ever, don't ever think I say them things there to glorify or to give it like give it the bigger. It's nah. not about that nah, it's because surprising. that could go totally wrong. That could have been a totally different story. I could be telling. I might not be telling the story. But Do you understand what I'm saying? That is a scenario that has happened so many times. Yeah, that's what I'm just left, trying to. It's gone left for people. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? I was just somewhere between me being there early, them not knowing it's, who's coming. This mm-hmm. it just what me being vigilant, me sitting there just watching the whole play. Mm-hmm. You know, it gave me up, but you, there's a, so many things like this. Mm-hmm. Don't think it can't. It's it's rough out mm-hmm. here. Mm-hmm. You can be go. They'll take you for everything on the block, bro. Mm-hmm. You can be going to buy a a car. I know, man. Who was it that telling me about? They went to buy a phone. I swear it was Jumbo or one of them. They went to buy a phone and the man ran off or something. I can't remember what yeah, it was. Yeah, 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 like yeah. anything people, they're gonna try to get you for. for. You yeah. said the TV with the flipping. Bricks, um, bricks, bricks in the team, yeah, yeah. like, the travelers. Yeah. So if they if they like they'll get you for anything. anything. So you gotta be eyes and ears. You understand? Mm-hmm. Like you might want to flex with your jewelry and all of this. The next man ain't got. Five, he's living six pound mackerel six and pound noodles for three days. Yeah, yeah, for three yeah, days, yeah, 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 yeah. and you're walking around every day, shining. flexing, four hundred yeah, yeah. pound teeth. Blinged there you out. go, blinged out. Mm-hmm. blinged out. You understand? And he might he's he's starving. Mm-hmm. So he's looking at you different. He's eyeing you up. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying, Palms? You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at your face, mm-hmm. Palms. Saying because mm, he knows it's real. Yeah. Nicholas, you know what it is. Mm-hmm. There's savages yeah. out there. Yeah, like, be, fortunate for everyone, me. Everyone. Fortunate for you. Fortunate for everyone. And I can look around this room and say, everyone. Pretty much, we grew up around man that was on them kind of crud mm-hmm. and savages. So you yeah. it, it, you know how to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. yeah. you know the perspective of, yeah. of what these men will do. Yeah, 100%. How these men will look at certain men. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> you, yeah. you know, innit? Like yeah, how man's friend. looking at man like, rah, blah. Yeah, because you study your friends. You study your friends. You study the people you around understand? you. You understand? So man. I see how, they'll, how, how certain men will get dealt with, you know? So, yeah, it goes to what Nikki said, really. Say it again, Nikos, one more time before we wrap it and we'll title the episode that. What's the mentality? Wait, I'd much rather be the hunter rather than the prey. Mm, say less. It's winners talking podcast. Life out here. Survive out there. Survive, people. my people. Survival of the Trust fittest. Me. Survival of the fittest. We go again. We go again. It's winners talking podcast. It's another mm. one. Pound style the hustler. Big Doug. Scram them in the room. It's all Scram. love. People them. More life, more love and blessings. It's the hustler. Stop. Yeah.